The Vox of Society Part 2. <sighs> it is currently like. I think, let me. I'll check. Give me like three seconds. Three twenty o'clock in the morning, so three three twenty a.m. When I'm recording this, so I'm like half asleep. I'm like I'm ninety percent asleep. I'm just a walking body at this point, an automaton. Okay. So we talked about the box of society and last episode. We talked about the tablet kids. Escaping the box of society. Now we're on the second half of this giant puzzle of chaos. I don't know what was wrong with my voice last one, but uh, it could happen again. My tablet's super weird right now. This is not, this is just my recording tablet, so I need to get a better one. Excuse me if I seem a little insane. I'm running off of four Celsius's right now, so. Sell you, however the fuck you say it. Um, I've been current, constantly, uh, improving. I'm off my meds now, which is a good thing. I'm doing better without them in my ass. But uh, I go for runs. I try to work out and eat as much, I eat as well as I can. Anyhow, the box of society. This, how do you say it? These confines. I constantly try to encourage my friends, my family, to escape this. Um, if, and the best way to escape this is to not care, to uh, believe in your own beliefs, not what everybody else believes. See, we quote-unquote, live in this dystopian age. Now, I don't believe there's an utopia or a dy dystopia. Well, there are both, but there's a middle ground between the two. You have to have the same amount of good as you have to have the same amount as bad. Currently, in this box of society that we live in, it's this amount of bad... And, like, this little amount of good. It's hard to find, but if you look for it, you'll find it. YouTube is... I don't know how to say this. I don't want to get canceled or anything, but it is the same. Every, everything is the same now. But there's YouTubers out there. Who I've been watching since a kid who are not afraid to go out their way to do whatever they want like unspeakable um Markiplier and all Markiplier's friends and popular MMOs let's see who else who else um Matt Pat all these guys had no problem stepping outside of this box. But if you step outside the box, you have to be aware that at first you'll get criticized and looked at weirdly. Like, people will look at you with a side eye and be like, what is this kid doing? That's what happened to me at first. It is a hard process, a lengthy process. But after a while, because these YouTubers escaped the box, they eventually, at long, 
layered on the line became bigger and bigger and bigger and then looked up up to for their uniqueness and just not giving a crap about what anybody thinks. I don't care what people think, because it's not how I was raised. And most kids, when they were younger, um, were inside all the time. I didn't see what a TV was until I was five. That's a true fact. I didn't have my first game system, which was a DS, till I was like eight. And it's not that we were poor, we were, but it's the fact that my mom cared. She didn't want me to end up like every single one of these people over here. And you can do this by going outside, having more adventures, spending more time with your friends, um, trying not to be on social media as much as possible. And people are like, oh, see, it's so boring without social media. I'm like, then make something for yourself to do. When I'm bored, I build, I carve, I make things. It's fun, it works with your hands, and it's productive. Go to the gym, work out. Um, other things, other things. Anyhow, the biggest thing with this box And I'm going to go back to the matrix thing now. The actual code, the definition of a matrix, right? It's an outline, something to follow and use. But if a line of code goes outside the box, everything breaks. It becomes chaos and unnatural. And yes, it does. If, like, they do it in the wrong way. So you can have stray code and regular code, and it'll still work. Such as how Python works. It's not just one select box of code or string of code like JavaScript would be. It's multiple and several of them. All of them are differently arranged and are in different patterns. I don't care to work a nine to five job at McDonald's. Good for you. You're young. You're making money. Props on you. By all, I have all due respect. You have a car. I have all due respect. But like I said, are you, do you foresee yourself working this job when you're 35? And I'm not mad at the people who do work at McDonald's. I wouldn't be able to order my breakfast burrito if it wasn't for those people who worked at McDonald's. It's a needed job. Without the workers of McDonald's, we wouldn't have these fast food restaurants. However, you can't constantly eat unhealthy. Well, it's just bad for you in general, but it's because of saturated fats. And those you can't get rid of. I... Oh, I'm zoning out. Just recently got into a relationship. I'm not saying with who. But you need to be happy alone. Before you can do anything with anybody. Or be happy with somebody else. It's, life is a giant path of self-discovery, and a lot of people forget that in my, what I see. Because like I said, everybody tries to be everybody. It's, like, a lot of guys think they have to impress other guys. You don't need to impress anybody. That's all up here. I get being competitive is a big thing. 
but you need to be socially smart and emotionally smart. Competitiveness is a good thing if used good. If you go to the gym, that's a place to be competitive. If you're in like a hard sport, that's a place to be competitive. But if you're going so far as being in your social life of trying to be better than others and view yourself as better as others, like a narcissist, that's a bad thing. Everybody in the beginning is on equal terms and everybody will be always be on equal terms. However, if you're on equal terms inside the box, like I said, this, there's nobody on equal terms anymore, ever. One person thinks they're better than the other. We'll always have that. We can never get rid of that as a society. That is something that has been going on since the dawn of man. It will never stop. It, in a perfect world, everybody feels themselves as equal. Never going to happen. I know that. I don't even... I'm, I'm not even expecting that to ever happen. I'm just saying that... People view themselves better than other people who are outside the box because they can fight and believe in the restrictions of the box of society and follow it with like their heart and soul. That's a bad thing. Because like I said, the more you confide in other people, you become that person slowly over time. That's why everybody becomes their parents eventually. That, that's a quote unquote myth. But everybody becomes their parents eventually or has some traits of their parents and their like personality it's because you confided in them when you were younger you look to them for support they taught you everything so it makes sense and if you confide in the uh, approval of other people in your daily life like i said you'll become that person and then you start arguing with that person because you're too much alike them. And it's just a box. Just step outside. It's not that hard. It's basically it all comes down to confidence. I don't care what anybody thinks. And excuse the hell out of me if that's a problem. You guys can, can do whatever you want. You can stay in the box society, come out of the box of society. It's all your choice. But there's lots of benefits to being on the outside than rather the inside. I think y'all should know that.